Diplomat pens usually come in this packaging. Today's phone pen comes in this packaging. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. For special anniversaries, companies like to produce special pens. Especially elaborate, especially expensive. Diplomat took a similar approach for the company's 100th anniversary. However, the especially expensive part was fortunately left out. What we have here is the Diplomat Nexus. This one is packaged in the typical Diplomat style, only the packaging is a bit bigger. In addition to the fountain pen, there is an inkwell in a holder here. And an instruction manual. Also two pipettes in a bottom layer. You can tell the fountain pen isn't like other fountain pens. Let's take a look at the Nexus first. We're looking at a fairly straightforwardly designed fountain pen. The diameter of the cap and the barrel end are identical. Two viewing windows stand out here, which are placed along the length of the fountain pen. The decorative elements are silver, whether on the black or on the blue version. These are the finial, the clip, a decorative ring at the cap end and the barrel end. The finial is flat and has the Diplomat logo finely engraved on it. The barrel end is also flat and has a Diplomat Germany engraved on it. The cap is screwed and takes about one turn to open. Underneath the metal grip zone and nib are revealed. Let's move on to some of the details of the fountain pen. Here we see the nib. It, like all of Diplomat's nibs, has a logo and lettering on it. But simply and classy in style. It is neatly finished. Here is a detail of the clip. At the top end is a kind of teardrop. Or rather, there's a hole there in the shape of a teardrop. It is the shape of a teardrop. But we also find the shape in the logo of Diplomat. Here we see a detail of the ink window. And also that it can be moved. The grip section is also movable. It can be pressed into the barrel a bit. Of course, this does not mean to be done manually, but rather it is meant to be pushed in automatically when the cap is screwed on, and thus closes a seal. This phone pen is an eyedropper, so no cartridge or converter goes in here. And it's not a piston phone pen that you can directly draw on. This phone pen is filled with the supplied pipettes. To make this easier, Diplomat has included this holder including an inkwell. Of course, not only the Diplomat inks fit in this holder. This form of inkwell is of course ideal. With this, Octopus inks will also fit, because as it also says on the Diplomat inkwells, these are made by Octopus. Now this holder not only takes the inkwell. The two round holes are meant to be hold the nib units and the barrel. This way you won't have any problems when filling it. Simply fill carefully with the pipette. Don't fill too high because the thread of the grip section engages here. The instructions talk about filling the fountain pen until the viewing window is filled. Cleaning the fountain pen is no more difficult than with other fountain pens. You can simply dump out excess ink from the barrel, or later, of course, the water for cleaning. The fountain pen feels good in the hand, at least in my opinion. It is a large and heavy pen. 
However, you can't post the cap. Let's move on to the writing sample. The fountain pen glides smoothly over the paper with only minimal feedback. At the same time, it is rather rigid. However, a slight line variance is achievable with pressure. I filled it with a supplied Diplomat black ink. As usual with Diplomat fountain pens, it is pleasant to write with a snip. The nib glides smoothly and the ink flows good. Even a little wet. Let's move on to the size comparison. Here we have the Nexus with a Visconti Homo sapiens, another newer Nautilus Voyager Shanghai, a Cleo Scriband Aurora Laguna Dragon, a Pelican M815 Metal Striped, and a Lamy Safari. We can see that this fountain pen here is among the thicker and longer fountain pens, and when opened, it is the longest pen. The cap, as mentioned, cannot be posted. The technical data can be found, as always, in the video description. In the second comparison, we have it here with a Stadler Initium, a Waldmann Commander, a Pilot Justice, a Cleo Scriband Natura Siri Code, and a Hörner Scriptum. With this fountain pen, Diplomat has really created a great pen for the 100th anniversary. An eyedropper. A type of pen that is rarely found. And not only that, a special mechanism has been created here. An eyedropper with its own seal. When the cap is probably screwed on, you can tell because the clip is aligned with the ink window, the ink supply is sealed and should be transportable even on an airplane without leaking. I have not tried this, but so far it seems to work great. By the way, an eyedropper can usually hold a good supply of ink. Diplomat states that the Nexus can hold the contents of up to 7 ink cartridges. Have you ever used an eyedropper? Or converted a fountain pen into an eyedropper? Write it down in the comments. It's also great that the fountain pen comes with a holder for filling. Diplomat have thought along very well. Filling this eyedropper is easy and safe, and the holder is not simple, but fits into the appearance of Diplomat. In my opinion, Diplomat has created a very great writing instrument with the Nexus. The Nexus is very straightforward in design, but has a character all its own. The clip with the teardrop, the two ink windows, and of course a finial and barrel end with a logo and lettering. I like the design, it's modern and chic. The fountain pen is one of the larger and thicker fountain pens. And with that, of course, since it has a middle body, it has a bit more weight. Something that I like very much. The grip section is also metal but has grooves to improve the grip. Whether you like that, of course, you have to decide for yourself. It suits me. If you don't like the black version, you can get also a Nexus in blue. The nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium and broad. And a 14 karat gold nib is also available, then with gold color trim. What do you guys think of this fountain pen? I am absolutely taken with it, I must confess. I like the design, and an eyedropper then with this new closer mechanism is something special. Many thanks to Diplomat for letting me test and show the phone pen. And of course, many thanks to you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. 
feel free to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would be very happy. See you next time. Thank you.